Hey everyone, welcome to Home Talk. In today's Facebook Live, we're going to share with you how to make some really fun DIY floating candles. I'm so excited to have you guys here today because this is going to be a perfect DIY Halloween decor idea for your home that everyone's going to love. I think if you're doing a Halloween party, this is going to be especially amazing because you could do a set of like 10 of these really easy. And my favorite part about this project is that we're using recycled toilet paper and paper towel rolls. So everyone loves projects like that. And I'm so excited to share with you today how to make these. So before we get started, I wanna know where you're tuning in from. So leave me a message right down here and share with me where you're visiting from and how the weather is. So Rachel's behind the camera today and she's gonna read some of your amazing comments. And we're over in East Tennessee Today feels like the perfect day of fall. So it's that enjoyable sweater weather that everyone's been craving, especially down south. So hope you guys are having a great day. And let's jump into today's project. So first things first, let's go over a few supplies. So we need recycled paper towel or toilet paper rolls. You need to head on over to a store like Walmart or Target and pick up these really inexpensive lights to put inside your candles. These are perfectly found with the pumpkin carving stuff. Um, maybe a pair of scissors, a scoring tool, then you'll need your acrylic paint. We love using the dollar store makeup sponges, which are fantastic for this project. Your hot glue sticks with your hot glue gun, which we love. And then you're gonna need some fishing line and some paper towel. So all basic stuff, I had all of this on hand. So maybe you wanna pick up a few things like your lights, but we also had these since we've been carving a few pumpkins to get ready for the fall festivities. Rachel, do we have anyone joining in? Yes, we have tons of people. We've got some people from uh, Ohio, some people from California, Kansas City, Missouri, oh my New Hampshire. Indiana. Yay! Hello guys, so happy to have you here on the live stream and we're really excited to craft with you today. So let's jump into it and the first things first is to grab one of your paper towel or toilet paper rolls. So let's start off with our smaller roll. So we have the toilet paper roll right here and we already have a hot glue stick in here. So let's get started and what we're going to do is first go around the top of it and start the candle wax drip. So see how I'm doing this right here? We're just gonna go around just like this, super easy, just like so. And I love how quick hot glue dries, so this is gonna be a super quick project. So once you make it around the entire toilet paper roll, what we wanna do is then go and do some drips. So as we do this, you just wanna go down and wiggle your hot glue stick to make some drips just like so. There's not really a rhyme or reason to this process. I just say I like some to be a little bit longer and then some shorter ones. So this is our first one and then we're gonna go about an inch away and do a little bit of a shorter one. Let's make sure to wiggle our glue stick a little. And remember the thicker your glue is, the more dimension it's going to show once it dries and then we paint it. So just like that. So we're gonna continue around here. Please be careful and do not stick your hand in the hot glue as it dries because that would not be um, a fun thing. But a fun craft tip is that if you do work with hot glue a lot, Martha Stewart's favorite tip for hot glue is to have a cold bowl of water. And honestly, that has, sa has saved me multiple times. So as you can see here, this is a little thin and I wanna give it more dimension. I'm just gonna go back in here with another layer, just like so. We've got some more viewers from Houston, Michigan, Pennsylvania. Love it. Hey guys, I actually um, am headed to Houston very soon. So I'm super excited to be in Houston for, I think the first time. So now we're just going to reload another glue stick in our hot glue gun and continue going around our toilet paper roll. Are you guys excited for Halloween? I'm super excited because we have so many fun ideas. Me and my friends are trying to pick out a day to go and do a haunted hayride and do some really fun holiday um, fall festivities. That's one of my favorite things about fall is getting out and enjoying this um, amazing weather. So as you can see here, what we're doing is we're just going around the entire 
toilet paper roll and making some drips. If you're just tuning in with us, what we're doing is we're sharing with you some really fun DIY floating candlesticks, which you're going to love. So super awesome. Let's continue right here and do this just like so. Awesome. So now we're gonna let this dry, and while we let this dry, we're going to work on our larger one. So what we need to do again, just first off, is go around the entire top, just like so. Super easy. And remember, the thicker that you make the hot glue, the more dimension it is, so the more hot glue, the better, which we love. And just be careful as you go around it, so to make sure that you don't stick your hand in it, which you want to be careful about. So as you do that, then you can start your drips going down. We've got some more um, viewers from Illinois. We even got one from Brazil. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Home Talk Facebook Live. We are so excited to be here at Crafting with you this morning. So it's just like so, we can make some larger wax drips, just like this, super easy. Just like so, this one can be a little longer. And then what we're going to do after this dries is we're gonna go in and paint the entire toilet paper or paper towel roll with acrylic paint. Let me take this right here, get some excess wax off of our paper towel roll, or our hot glue gun, excuse me. So super easy, a little bit repetitive, so you can do this while you're watching some little Halloween movies. I love watching Halloween Town, especially while I craft up or carve pumpkins. It's kind of like a family tradition. What are some of your favorite um, things to do during Halloween or fall? Share with us in the comments and we'll read off some of our favorites. So just like so, I think we can add one more tiny hot glue wax dripping. Just like so. Why don't you tell some of our late arrival, arrivals uh, people what we're making today? Yeah, today we're making it DIY recycled candlesticks. So just like here, they're floating and we're going to share with you the tip that's going to make them float for any of your Halloween festivities. If you want a really fun decor idea, or you may be looking for something for a fun Halloween party. So as you see here, we have added our hot glue to our recycled toilet paper and hot glue rolls. And I believe our toilet paper roll has dried enough to where we can go ahead and go in and start painting it. So let's talk about the painting process. What we found to work best is a multi-surface paint, since you are working on multi-surfaces for this project, um, where it's the hot glue and the toilet paper roll. So we love multi-surface paint, and what we're going to do is just take it and put some out on a plastic or a styrofoam plate, just like so. And then what we love to do when we paint is we love using um, dollar store makeup sponges. So what we do is we just go like this, and then we take the excess off just a tad, and now we can go over here and start painting, just like this. So, pouncing our entire toilet paper roll. And the cool thing about this is that it's another repetitive process. I do recommend one to two coats. So as you can see here, we just take it, and then go just like this. Super easy, and I love that we're able to recycle old toilet paper rolls, as I know everyone loves getting crafty with them. Just like this. If you want to speed up this process, feel free to use a white spray paint. We've also found that that works really well, and I'm all about saving time. But for today's project, I really enjoy also using acrylic paint. It's a, pretty easy and you don't have to go outside, especially if you're doing some late night crafting. 
we do recommend if you're using spray paint to be in a very well ventilated area. Um, so we just prefer to go outside. So it's personal preference, but they do recommend a really well ventilated area. So as you can see here, the makeup sponge is able to apply even coverage on the entire um, material that you're painting, just like so. So we're just dabbing this right here and going around the entire toilet paper roll. Just like so. And as you can see here, it, I if you want to make it um, very white and the best it can be, we recommend two coats. But you could also leave one coat and then it would be gray and very vintage, perfect for Halloween. One of our viewers asked, do you have to use a sponge or can you use a paintbrush as well? You can totally use a paintbrush. We just prefer sponges when making projects like this. Um, but yeah, if you just have a paintbrush on hand, you definitely can just use a paintbrush. It also um, is really easy. So just like this, just going in and giving it a first coat. So we're almost around it. See, that doesn't take too long at all. Let's make sure we get all of the nooks and crannies just like this. And then what we like to do is go up to the top and make sure that we hit any of the top area where we were holding it. So just like so. I love using sponges because for this process it makes it a lot easier sometimes than using a paintbrush, as you can see here. Now what we're going to do is going to sit this over to the side and then we're going to repeat the same process to our paper towel roll. So we're going to take the paint and then apply it onto our paper towel roll just like we did with our toilet paper roll. So super easy process right here. Did we have anyone leave comments about what their favorite fall festivities were? Not so far. Okay. There's a lot of questions of some uh, late viewers joining in asking what yeah, we're Yeah, that is a fantastic question. If you're just joining us, hello, I'm Tanner. And today we're making some DIY floating candlesticks. They are perfect for Halloween, perfect for any parties, and I just love them in my home. That's another awesome festivity. And you could have seen these if you watched any of the Harry Potter movies. That they're sort of where we got inspired by to make these. So we're just applying paint. What we also love about this project is that it's recyclable. So we're recycling old paper towel and toilet paper rolls, which is a perfect way to upcycle things we already have in our home. Laura said she loves apple picking in the fall. I love that, Laura. Thank you so much for joining us today on Facebook Live. We hope you have a fantastic day and week. And guys, if you wanna see this entire project list with supplies and everything, head on over to the pinned comment um, to this video because over on hometalk.com, we've got you taken care of with the full instructions. So go over there pin it, save it for later. That's gonna be an awesome resource to grab links and learn exactly how we made this project. And also you can feel free to share this video um, with anyone on your Facebook feed so that they can get inspired for Halloween as well. And Jenny said that she loves cooking up fresh pumpkin pie. <gasps> I love pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is my weakness. I don't know which one I like better, apple or pumpkin. They're both um, a fall favorite. So one of the reasons why I prefer using a sponge um, is because I can get in all of the textured areas really well with a sponge compared to a paintbrush um, where a paintbrush would leave more um, of the marks of a paintbrush where this is pretty even coverage. So that's kind of why we have found that the makeup sponges work better. But it's all about personal preference. You, like we were saying earlier, could also use um, spray paint. So if you want to head outside and give this a coat or two of spray paint, that would work really well. Um, we just want to make sure that you're in a very well ventilated area. Dawn says she loves hay rods, but she lives in Clearwater, Florida, so it's a Aww. bit hard to find. <laughs> 
<laughs> Clearwater is amazing. I vacation over in St. Pete a lot and it is just so much fun to go beach hopping over to Clearwater as well. So as you can see here, it doesn't take too long at all to go around the entire surface area of your project. And honestly, we love making projects like this just to recycle all of the toilet paper rolls um, and paper towel rolls. So it's a lot of fun. And then you get asked how you made them. And every one of my guests when during Halloween parties are blown away. So guys, we're almost done painting. Then we're going to jump into the secret on how we make ours floating. So stay tuned just for a few more minutes and then we're going to be able to jump into that process. So I'm just applying a little bit more acrylic paint. Um, if you are just joining us, one of our tips is to use a multi-surface paint because with a project like this, we're painting not only the hot glue, but we're also painting our recycled paper towel roll. So you wanna have something that can be um, well painted on any surface. So that's why we kind of recommend a multi-surface paint. Um, the only thing that they do different to multi-surface paint is make it a little bit thicker than your average acrylic paint. So if you see it at the craft store and it is a little bit more expensive, that is why, because it's a thicker acrylic paint. And I honestly, after you start using it, you'll never want to go back because it works so well. Um, if you're painting unfinished surfaces like wood, what would take two coats of a regular acrylic paint usually only takes me one coat with the multi-surface paint. So that's just a fun craft tip. Awesome, we're almost finished. A lot of viewers are recognizing this from Harry Potter. So yes, these are Harry Potter inspired totally, guys. We love this project so much that we wanna bring it into our own home. And I think this will be fantastic for you guys, especially if you all do any Harry Potter viewing parties during um, the Halloween fall season. This would be a perfect way to bring the show into your home. For your party so it's a little fun tip if you have any kids that are obsessed with harry potter this would be perfect for you two to make together and have some bonding time and they'll remember this project for years to come so we're super excited for you guys to get inspired today and hopefully be able to go out and make it so as you can see here this is what it looks like with coat one and then if you go through i'm going to show you a finished one we went through probably with two coats and this is what it looks like and it looks really awesome and I think it's pretty spooky so this is a finished one so let's go over here and take our first one that we've painted so it's a little dry if it's not completely dry you just want to um, shake it some people use a hair dryer to speed up the process but you kind of want to be patient with it and not rush it too much but since we're on live today we're just going to shake it back and forth this really does speed up the process quite a bit but I think we're pretty good to go. So now the next thing we want to do is stuff it. So a lot of people um, will take another recycled piece of like a paper towel roll and glue it in here. But what we found to be really easy is just to take a few excess pieces of paper towel and we like to stuff it into the bottom of our toilet paper roll. So if you're wondering, okay, why are we going to do this? We're going to show you here in one second. So you want to be able to place your light in here without it moving, right? So we just like to stuff it with two pieces of paper towel is all you need and it'll be set in here. If you're worried about it not um, staying, you can apply some hot glue to make sure that it stays really well. But as you can see here, it sticks pretty darn well. So ta-da! Now it's going to stay really well. So now we've positioned that. And what we're going to do next is we're going to share with you the floating idea. So send up hearts, send us likes if you're ready to see the floating idea. So how to make this project flow, you have these awesome candlesticks that would honestly look great on a Halloween table, really anywhere for Halloween decor. But the way we're going to make it floating is using a pack of fishing line. So this right here can hold 10 pounds and you get 100 yards of fishing line for less than a dollar, guys. We paid 94 cents for this. Isn't that amazing? I love this fishing line. It's super strong and will be great to make these floating. So um, yes, let's do it. So now that we figured out where our candle 
is going to sit, so it's going to sit right about there. What we want to do is come on over with our craft knife, so it's like a box cutter, if you will, and find a place where it's going to go through. So just like here, you can see is where the light ends. So we just want to make a little marking and just cut this through really easily. So this cut through well, and now what we're going to do is go over to the other side, and we're just going to place another one. So just cut through your toilet paper roll, just like so, a little indention, just so we can thread the fishing line through. And now we're going to remove that. And I would say about a yard of fishing line will be good. So just about this much. So I like to do a yard just like this, like raise my arms out. It really depends on where you want this and how much you want it to dangle. So then we're going to grab our scissors and just cut it right here. So just like so. Now what we want to do is find one of the holes that we've um, cut through. Just thread this through. Make sure it's able to go through. If you're having trouble, you can take your pair of scissors and just make sure it's wide enough, just like so. And now you're able to thread this through really easily. So ta-da! We're able to th feed this through. And let's go over to our other side and do the same thing since we cut it open just a little bit. Just one more time. So do we have any questions about this process? Is everyone able to keep up? Is there anything we could help answer? Yes, everybody's doing well. Everybody Yay. loves your shirt. I love this shirt, guys. I love my Home Talk community. And I know you guys are huge Home Talkers. So it's so nice to have you here. Um, so now you have it threaded through. So check this out before we tie it off. Ta-da! Actually, let's add our light so you can see the full, the full process, just like this. So now what you'll do is decide how it's going to dangle, and then what I like to do is use a simple um, hook. You can use command hooks or anything like that to put on your ceiling, and then it'll work really well. So now you just want to tie some type of knot really easily. A lot of people are recommending that you could also use use a big bigger needle and thread it yes through. you can use definitely use a needle we just try to make this as simple as possible for you guys so less materials is what we usually try to work with so people that maybe not have any needles we really like to prefer that so now that you've tied your knot you can just cut this off right here so now we have an amazing little project that is perfect oh no our light fell out I knocked it over. So now you have this awesome project right here. So super cool, floating candles, we love it. And if you are just joining us today, we are making these awesome DIY floating candles inspired by Harry Potter and perfect for any Halloween party. So we love it. And let's share with you one more time how we're making them floating. So just if you didn't catch it, let's just go ahead. We're using fishing line. So this is 10 pound, 100 yard fishing line that we purchased from just any store like Walmart. This was only 94 cents. So this is a super cheap um, crafting material that you're gonna be able to use for a lot of different projects. So you just wanna take a pair of scissors or something. And some of our viewers also wanna know, um, they tuned in like, what did you stuff it with? Yes. Oh, great question. So what we stuffed this with was just two pieces of paper towel. There's a few different ways to do it. We found that paper towel was an easy way that would be perfect for this project. So now what you wanna do is take a craft knife or some sort of material to be able to pierce it and just pierce one side and then make sure your candle fits and go over to the other side and pierce it as well. So right under where the candle sits, just like so. Ta-da! And then we'll make sure that this is open enough, which it is. Awesome, you can also just use a pair of scissors. So just using scissors like this is a perfect way to pierce it, whichever works well for you. Then you wanna take your fishing line and get about a yard and then cut that just like so. And then a lot of people recommended that they could thread this um, with a needle, but you can also eyeball it if you want, just like we're doing here today threading it through, pulling it through just like this, and then finding your other hole down here and threading it through. So sometimes it could be a little hard um, if it's down pretty far, but you know, just like so, we're able to pull it through. So awesome, awesome, awesome. 
and then um, making sure your paper towel is still positioned well, just like this, and setting your light. And I wanna see the lit candle in there. Yes, okay, so let me turn it on. Oh, look at that, how awesome. And these are seriously so inexpensive. You can pick these up right with the pumpkin carving tools. These are perfect to put into your pumpkin, but you can also use them for this DIY project, which we love. So just like that, then you'll wanna tie a knot, which is super easy. And there's a few different ways to hang it onto your ceiling, but it really um, depends on your personal preference. So we've used command hooks. There's so many different ways to do it, depending on how permanent or um, temporary you'd like it. So then we've tied our knot and look at this awesome DIY floating candle. It's so amazing and we cannot wait to see you make it for a Harry Potter, Harry Potter inspired Halloween party or just for your table because these honestly look really cool just to see sitting on any um, table during the holidays. So super fun Halloween idea with Home Talk. If you guys are interested in learning more about this project, getting the links to supplies and learning more about it, there's gonna be a link in the comments that should be pinned from Home Talk to head on over there and get the full instructions. So we're super excited to see you guys make these. If you do, share us a photo in the comments below and we're so excited to see you guys make this project. Uh, Rachel, do we have any other questions? I don't think so. I awesome. think that we're all good for for today, I'm reading through, just catching up, but I, I don't think there's any right now. Awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a fantastic week. Come back later on today for another awesome Home Talk Facebook Live. See you guys. Bye.